Item number SCP-6547. Object class safe. Update neutralized. Special containment procedures. SCP-6547-1 is currently contained within the former office of Jasmine Clark on the fourth floor of the Coleman and Hayes shipping facility. The outside of the room has since been remodeled to resemble a standard janitor's closet and is to remain locked at all times. One guard is to be stationed inside this office at all times, preventing entry to any non-foundation personnel. Any trespassers are to be administered Class A amnestics and returned to the building's lobby. No objects within the containment zone are to be moved without head researcher Frederick Chamberlain's approval. The introduction of any new objects inside the office requires the approval of Dr. Chamberlain and at least two of his counterparts in SCP-6547-2 or lower. Notice, I cannot stress this enough. Do not move anything around within the office without my or another level 3 researcher's approval. I do not need nor want to hear a complaint of this from one copy of myself, let alone a second, third, fourth, and phantom. Just stop! Whoever is responsible for this insubordination will be promptly reprimanded. It's making me feel like I'm going crazy. Dr. Chamberlain Description SCP-6547-1 resembles a standard-sized common and hairs cardboard box, which, when opened, reveals a near-identical miniaturized replica of the room SCP-6547-1 is kept in, with the only discernible differences being size and living inhabitants. The subjects that reside within SCP-6547-1 appears to be miniature living entities that share the general looks and personality with Dr. Chamberlain, though every subject possesses its own sapience and bodily autonomy. Other entities resembling the guards assigned to guard SCP-6547-1's containment chamber have been documented as well often conversing with their counterparts in our world or within SCP-6547-2. SCP-6547-1 is capable of being physically modified without direct touch through the translocation of objects within the office. Any movement of inanimate objects within the office results in the replica of the same object being moved in an identical fashion within SCP-6547-1. This effect does not appear to occur reflectively, as when the Dr. Chamberlain within SCP-6547-1 moves an object from inside his copy of the office, it does not experience movement within our world's office. SCP-6547-1 appears to also contain a self-replica of itself designated SCP-6547-2, which, through correspondence with its Dr. Chamberlain, led to the discovery that each instance of SCP-6547 houses another instance of itself. Throughout the past five years of testing, no end of the amount of SCP-6547 instances have been found with the deepest instance known to the Foundation being SCP-6547-803. Addendum 6547-1 On May 23rd, 2021, a large foot emerged from the ceiling of SCP-6547-1's containment chamber, crushing both head researcher Frederick Chamberlain as well as SCP-6547-1, and presumably all instances of SCP-6547. Following this, a localized reality collapse event occurred. Solely affecting the office, no area beyond the containment zone was affected, with the effects halting at the door, which now opens to an inaccessible void. Reclassification of the new anomaly under a different file number is underway.